Hey, what's up? Sir Amwood here. How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome. Get everything set up here. Find my video. Here we go. Plugged in. All right, guys. So, what did I get new today? So, well. This is what I got in this week. Well, this is what I got in this week. I got my Generation 1 Lady Death. Last week or so, I got a R2-D2 Deluxe. I still have that Star-Lord Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Deluxe to open. I got this Jatari set, both the Foot Soldier and the Commander. Still got the mask. That's Jatari Commander. Got a Guardians of the Galaxy rocket, I think. That's what this one is. No, Star Wars Deluxe. So two of those. So I started unboxing this one. Got the Daredevil. You know, I was thinking about doing the Daredevil because of the Netflix is canceling it. Here's the rocket. And that's the rocket and Groot uh, kit from Guardians of the Galaxy. I got a Transformers MP10 and PM3. That we can also unbox if you want. Or we can build Star Trek figure uh, ships if you like. So I'm thinking about this Daredevil. Just go with that. Because for whatever unknown reason, Netflix and all of their geniusness, and I say that sarcastically, decided they wanted to. Uh, Cancel Daredevil, which I don't have any idea why in the world they would do that. I lost my video load feed here. See, are we still in? There we go. Anybody in the channel? Anybody there this morning? Good morning. That's the one we do. I'm open up this Daredevil. I like what's neat about this is um, it's got the Braille on there as well. I don't know. I don't. I don't read Braille, but I'm assuming this is probably says Daredevil. I'm I'm going to assume that. I don't know. So and it's it's raised up literally so it can be read here on the side as well. You know, on this side, top of the bottom, two different forms of the word Daredevil. I've enjoyed the Daredevil series. It's a crying shame that they've decided to uh, to do that. I think the other thing that we're going to unbox, I'm sure I'll have plenty of time, is this version one Lady Death. That's uh, that's been a holy grail of mine. People have asked me before what grails I have. I've captured a lot of the grails, but there's still a few of them that have been slipping through my fingers and that was one of them so here he is literally out of the package or I mean in his package still you can see what that looks like right there and he comes with a city scene now I um, I use the the backdrop diorama for Doctor Strange and I, and I turned the background diorama for Daredevil round backwards. Um, show you those. How much light be here on this? But there's the uh, background diorama for Strange that I used, and there's the Daredevil background diorama right there that I used. Everything literally fell off. Of the shelf, so I'm gonna have to uh, 
put that back on there. I put the high heels on my Lady Death. Pretty much care for them being on my Deadpool. And I put the, uh, the burnt face on there. I need to light all these guys up. I just don't have enough light on my figures. But uh, that's, I've used the backdrops. I don't know if I use this backdrop. I might. I uh, haven't yet. I, the other thing I didn't do was I didn't get the Punisher. Man, I should have got the Punisher. Let me plug this in here real quick. Otherwise, this battery will go dead. So now the Punisher is a grail of mine. And, and I hate when I do that. I mean, I really hate when I uh, make that decision not to get something. So I have to fold this words evidently to get it to go the other direction. I don't know why they did that. That seems silly because I'm probably going to crack this and fold it up. What in the world? So we may just stand it up straight. I probably won't fold it at all. I'll probably just leave it standing straight up. That's probably what I'm going to do. If you can see the whole thing or not. Um, let me tilt this up just a little bit. It says, uh, at the top it says, Marvel Daredevil, by the way. And you get this, you can see this, the uh, telephone lines and electric lines from the street poles. So it's pretty cool. I like that. I don't need that all the way up now anymore. So I probably will use this for my Daredevil. Let's get him out of the box. And like I said, I've, I've had him in the box. I bought him. This was um, a TMS. So it's not any less quality than their MMS. It is called a TMS because it's television masterpiece series is what that stands for. So the first Daredevil movie I've seen that had Ben Affleck played it. And I really did not enjoy Ben Affleck as Daredevil. I just didn't like it. It was, uh, I don't know. As it, it wasn't as good as the series that we had from Netflix. And I really got into it in the second season. When the Punisher was introduced. And... This is still available for sale, by the way. It's almost like as if they made a lot of Daredevils and not that many Punishers. It should have been the other way around. I've also noticed that Hot Toys has been, um, well, this little shoe came off, showing off the Stan Lee figure at their uh, cons that they attend, the toy shows. And that figure's been out for a couple of years. It didn't sell well. And then, of course, after he passed, they sold out everywhere. And it kind of makes me wonder if, what in the world, why can't I get this back on? All right, I'm having foot problems here. Do not tell me that that thing's broken in there. No, it's not broken. It makes me wonder, there we go. Uh, by them showing off the Stan Lee figure, if they're going to release it again. And of course, everybody and their brother bought one, because, in my opinion, because they were thinking, you know, limited collection, limited edition. Here's his base. This is neat. Kind of looks like a sidewalk. With a little water on there. So this is rough, and that's smooth. And that's pretty cool. It says Daredevil, just like the, uh, the television series' is emblem or logo is. If you guys can see that. And I hope this is focusing in. I did a couple focus tests. Comes with the crotch grabber. 
before because last week was totally out of focus. The entire video was, and I, I was getting a feeling that it was, but I just was, was hoping that it wasn't. Now, what in the world is this? A solid box. It's a solid box. And here's some more street scene. You know, with the the Chitari pieces, the Chitari commander, the Chitari foot soldier, and the Chitari commander foot soldier set, they all come with the identical street scenes. I definitely have enough street scenes now. I can throw some of those Chitari things in here uh, with Daredevil. You know what I think this is? I bet you this goes behind. That's what that's for. So you put this up here so that when you're using your display base, there you go. Ah, now I got it. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. All right. So, that. just to figure that out, huh? Ian, how you doing, man? Greetings. Oh, man. You know what? Um, I had heard when I was younger many years ago that it rains all the time in the UK. And uh, my uh, um, Mrs. Emerald, my wife, uh, her family's from uh, UK. Now, my wife was born here in the United States, but her mom is born in, in the UK. And my, my wife says, no, that's not true. It doesn't rain there all the time. So I don't know, but here in California, where I live, we don't get rain, but just, it normally rains on Halloween, and then it stops raining in February. So of course we had those fires that were going on, so we're happy to have rain, but um, I don't know if that's what you're experiencing out there or not. But glad to have you, Ian. Welcome to the channel. Um, so I was talking about what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox my Daredevil here, in uh, recognition of Netflix shutting down the Daredevil series. They're, they killed it after season three. There is no season four. All right, so we get a couple of um, nunchucks. Hold on there. Stay with us, Matt. Get a couple of nunchucks. This one is um, out and ready to be used. And it's like a braided, well, not braided, it's like a stainless steel whip. And I don't know if that's what he uses in the in the show or not. I don't remember. But uh, that's what that is. And you can see one side is longer than the other. So I suppose you could put these in a pose with him using these. So we have those. And then we have a set of them in one staff. Because sometimes he uses it as such and these are pretty cool I like this so we have that well are we on now yes Robert welcome I'm sorry uh, hopefully this is in focus and then we have a couple of the staffs without The wire so that we can put them in his holster here or have him holding them as batons as well then we have the fists and it comes with a total of six hands we have fist pegs or I mean uh, wrist pegs and uh, we have an interchangeable face so you can have him kind of beat up right here with a kind of a sneering snarling face can you see that you put that on there morning i think for miami miami <laughs> that's good focus i mean yes thank you god what a disappointment last week was sorry about that guys let's see what do we have to do here to get this off i should read the instructions but uh, why would i want to do that um, looks like you just lift up on the chin and then pull down. Uh, 
Bonjour. Comment vous appelez-vous? Très bien. Merci beaucoup. How's that for, that's all my French I know. You figure, yep. Yep, 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 yep. GG, GG, Caesars, what's going on, man? I got gotcha. you. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. So let me just uh, slide this one up, I'm assuming. Yeah, that wasn't all that difficult to change out. So now we have a sneering, snarling, bloody daredevil. Hopefully he's in the, uh, the shot there. Yeah. Robert, is it pose well or bad like Arkham Batman? Let's find out. Let's get through the rest of the hands here. So we have um, <laughs> we have a chokehold here, so he can do a chokehold and a relaxed hand, or you know you could call these two relaxed hands if you wish. And then I'm assuming these other two hands are going to be his holding hands for his batons or nunchucks, whichever it is that you wish to call them. And yeah, that's what those are. A couple of holding hands. And these are these are nice. They're sculpted well. They they feel vinyl-y. So one of the questions that some people ask are what these are made out of. I'm, I'm going to assume that this is made out of a PVC style vinyl. These pieces are instead of plastic. Now, um, yeah, they're the same, but they're different. This has a, a little different feel. It feels rubbery instead of hard plastic like a Iron Man figure does. The Iron Man figures, the hands feel like a hard plastic because he's supposed to represent a metal suit. These are definitely vinyl-y because I'm assuming this is supposed to represent a leather suit or um, I'm not sure what it's made out of. It may be made out of like a uh, wetsuit like surfers wear, uh, neoprene. But so I'm assuming that's why they made these out of this vinyl, PVC vinyl material. So let's share that with you guys. Should do a collection tour. Yeah, Robert, somebody said that last week. Was that you? I, I, I've been working on trying to get this room in here better. I've about got it. I've, I've got the uh, top shelf now so that it actually lights up. And... It lights up about 50% of the time just by flipping the switch on without having to touch anything else. 25% of the time, all I got to do is touch it. And the other 25% of the time, I've got to wiggle something. So I don't know what is not set up yet properly. All right, so let's see how he moves. So he, he has this suit, which these suits are sometimes very restrictive uh, in their uh, mobility. Because it's one integrated suit throughout the, the entire figure. So the cool thing about that is it gives us that seamless, obviously there's seams, but it gives us that seamless look compared to something where the shoulders can come out or the legs can come out. So that you get the give and take. The give is that you end up losing mobility. The take is that you get a nice seamless body or appearance throughout, which makes for a a great looking figure, but it sacrifices in posability. So we have, I can tell you right now, the way the head is totally connected to the body, we're probably not gonna have too much um, neck rotation. So let's see. Well, 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 bite my tongue. That was really nice. I am quite impressed. I didn't think we'd have that with the way that that is. And we get some pretty good side to side. Oh, his eyes. Ooh, those eyes are creepy, man. Let me tell you something. Looking into his eyes. I'm going to pick this camera up so I can show you. Hopefully we can get a good look at this. This is creepy. They, they, they look like they're staring back at you. Come on, focus in for me here. They have this... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a jeweled look to them. But they're not. It's they're deep. They're deep in there. That's that's uh there we go. There, can you see that? God, let me trying to 
I really want to give this effect here. I'm not trying to spend too much time on this, but it's just really impressive uh, how that looks. It's it's he, he's definitely looking back at you, but he's not looking at you. Oh, that's creepy. I like that. That is really neat. So let's see. If, hopefully, we got that back. And third party due to the crazy hot prices. Yes, yes. Uh, I think so. Um, merci beaucoup. Hmm. Seems like hot toys. Mr. Spidey looks great, but can't pose. Yeah, I've got a video I'm working on my, you know, it, it dawned on me after I made my video that Spider-Man figure that I should have bought two of. I should have bought a dozen of those doggone things. And I love Spider-Man, but uh, he was in Captain America Civil War, Homecoming, and Infinity Wars. That Spider-Man was in three movies. So I should have bought three of them at least, one for each movie. And I didn't. But uh, I've got a video. I've been working on the doggone thing for two weeks. It takes so long to edit my videos because uh, I talk too much. And I have to edit out a lot of the talking. So, anyhow, let's see how mobile he is. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, maybe, uh, seems like Hunter is bad. Seems like Arkham Batman loved that and hate that figure, which had Matt Murdock head. You know, uh, you, a lot of times customizers will make heads, for instance, like the, uh, the avocado head. For Deadpool. Now, I do like how they've done this. Now, if you've seen, if you remember at the beginning of the video, my foot totally came off. So, a lot of times, these boots that they make, these boots, you can't bend them like Captain America's. This, the boot and the ankle are two separate pieces so that you, you get this mobility ability, which is nice because Daredevil is like Spider Man. He, he, um, he can move. You know, he's a he's a martial arts expert, you know. You should be able to put him into extreme poses with his feet. And so I really like, really neat how they did that. Good play, Hot Toys. I like some little dirt on there because obviously the streets are dirty where he's at there in Hell's Kitchen. So I like that. You know, he's a, an attorney by day and all dressed up. And then at night he just really gets dirty. Let's see what we got here for a knee. Oh, that's nice. That's a good, that's a good bend. I think it's a double joint there. One, two, yeah, a double jointed knee. So it's one bend, and then the second joint kicks in for the second bend, and it affords it. There's a lot of material there to allow that knee bend. So this is looking like the material is going to be tight. Let's see what we get here for, for his his wide gap. You know, that's about as far as you're going to go. Without splitting that material, I, I can probably bend it more, but that's about as far as I'm going to want to go because um, I don't want to split the suit apart. Let's see what we can do for a, a forward and back. Not much back here. So that's about as far back as we're going to be able to kick that. And the same thing with the forward. Now, the Spider Man Homecoming, I can really get that leg going. And I'm really impressed with that. So, um, again, the restriction of the suit. So, what we're going to have a problem with is he ain't going to be doing much sitting. You're not going to be posing Daredevil in a sitting position. There's no sitting going on for this guy. He is not going to sit. Um, ab crunch, same thing. Not much going on there. Uh, you can bend him back a little bit, as you can see. And you can bend them forward a tad, but that's about it. Mostly you're going to be using your really impressive head movement here. And, um, wow, yeah, we can give him the exorcist head. You can spin him all the way around. I love the feeling of this helmet. Again, it has that PVC vinyl feel instead of like the Iron Man hard metal feel. I like that. I like his little stubble on his, on his face. And you know what? That's that's textured too. His little beard is full on textured. I would like his teeth to be shiny like the Hulk's, but they're not. You know, they made the eyes shiny. They should have made his little teeth shiny. Hulk's teeth are creepy because they look so real. It's like they little cut little teeth out of somebody and shove them up in there. Let's see what his arms are are doing. 
All right, so same thing, just raising up like this. That's about as far as we're going to get. There. And just moving forward and backwards, I mean, without putting any twisting into it, that's what we get. So again, they're restricted there. Now we should be able to, through manipulation or finagling is a term I like to use, should be able to get a little bit better positioning here so we can get into an up. It's like that's about it there. Uh, he does have a bicep rotation in here, so we can do that. No problem there. Uh, and it's the double jointed elbow too. So we get one bend and then the second bend kicks in. So you can really get the elbow up there. But um, again, your restriction is in that shoulder. But the shoulder is looks really beautiful. Uh, you can tell it's a coat. Two separate pieces here. So coat and pants. Um, I don't know how far this goes up. It's not designed to come off, but it really goes up there pretty good, pretty good ways. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to cut this off, you could. Uh, I could see a shape here of something, so it may probably come up to here. So if you wanted to cut this off or whatever, for whatever known reason, I have no idea why you would ever want to do that, to improve his articulation or something, I suppose you could. These straps look like like they would work, but obviously they don't. It's not anything other than just the straight on material there. It's not like an extra belt or anything along that line. And I like that this is actually molded into the pants here. It doesn't come off. This is there. Um, some of the other figures, Black Widow, I believe, um, Deadpool, these slop around. So this is definitely affixed onto him, which is great. Uh, all of this is nice how they did this. So the bad is the limitations in the hip and the shoulders because of the suit. But the good is it really did a lot of really neat things to make the figure so that when you pose him, he stays posed the way he's supposed to. This isn't going to be sliding all around. So I'm really, really pleased with it. I give it a, I give it a pretty good rating here. Uh, I wish I had Murdoch head. Yep. Uh, put Daredevil next to... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm torn now. My choice is get Nolan Batman stuff, mainly cop, nurse, and bank joker, or get Dark Ark and Emperor and Empire Strikes Back. Dude, Empire Strikes Vader. You're not going to go wrong with Vader, man. Empire Strikes Back, too. That's one of the best movies. Uh, Nolan stuff cheaper. Definitely, yep, yeah, it is. Going to get pushed. That's my grail list now. It's funny, I got three MCU Spideys. I felt out just a tech suit. The tech suit. What do you mean the uh, the Iron Spider? And Nantucket is it's it's a, it's a wire. It's like a it's like a it's like a wire, like a cable. And hanging loose, dude. Can you do a Deadpool size comparison? Certainly. Gladly. Let's grab. Uh, which one is this? This is Deadpool two. It comes with, I bought this, it didn't come with this, uh, or I bought this uh, Hugh Jackman head, if you remember, he stapled that to himself in the first movie. God, I love the Deadpool movies. By the way, did you notice that they're doing a uh, PG-13 re-release of the movie this December? I don't know what I think about that. I'll probably go see it. But what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that um, Fox isn't, or Disney, isn't doing it to try to say, see, we don't have to make it R-rated, because gosh darn it, R-rated Deadpool is so damn funny. And if they start thinking that they can get away with making a PG-13 Deadpool, yeah, that would upset me. That would upset me a lot. So that's with the avocado head. Um... I suppose I ought to get the other uh, Deadpool over here, too. So, he's taller, uh, even at the shoulders. Deadpool's shoulders are taller than Matt Murdock's. And I don't know if that's the avocado head that's taller. So, let's get the, uh, 
Let's get my um, Deadpool 1 over here. Do that comparison as well. Just to see if it's the if it's the head or if he's truly that much taller. So oh, it fell off. Oh, his pouch just fell off. Well, we can't have him without his pouches. How in the world did that fall off? Where in the world does it go? Oh man. Gosh dang it. Let me show you this. This is just really starting to upset me. So, get your little pistol in there. I think it's a Desert Eagle he's packing. I don't know. Some of you gun guys, you would know for fact. But this pouch fell off here as I was uh, moving him. And, all right, guys, stand still for me for a minute. Stop moving. Anyhow, um, this Rob Leefield patch, uh, pouch fell off. And as I was looking at it to see what in the world happened, the gosh darn threads. Look at this. They just totally up and separated. Can you see that? What in the absolute world? I'm going to point with my knife. Look at this. So Deadpool 1 was wrought with problems. Uh, if you remember, they actually, um, I got my, well, I get all my Hot Toys figures late, it seems. But I got my Deadpool so late, my Deadpool 1 so late that he's a, the the fixed version. So everybody else's Deadpool came out and theirs was damaged. This is supposedly the fixed version. And this literally just fell clean off from this. And as I'm looking at him, Man, I'm getting more and more angry as the moments go. Sheesh, look at this. I just noticed this, too. Ugh. Even on this second release, or later release of Deadpool, his freaking wrist is dissolving. And that was the problem when the first releases of them was the wrist frayed and came apart. And if you see right there, I don't know if you can tell or not, but his wrist is fraying and falling apart. And this was the late release. So, you know, like I, I complain about and state, everybody and their brother gets their Hot Toys figure before I do, brand new. Even though I'm ordering those doggone things on day one when they're available. For some reason, I guess I've torqued off the toy companies. They decide that they're not going to give it to me as quickly as everyone else gets it. Oh, well, whatever. So, but this one really came late. So, and I don't remember when it came out. Let's just say July of last year. And everybody and their brother was getting theirs in July. I didn't get mine until like November. And that and so it was obviously because they pulled the, the the shipments of them. And mine was supposedly that fixed version. But now as you can see, even that is a problem. Now one thing that some people have, have stated about the uh, this Deadpool also is that he has the, the wrong size neck. And so the, the people do what they call the neck, neck fix. So one of the things that we were just doing was a comparison in size, and I was showing you that with the avocado head, his uh, he just seems to be a little bit taller, but with his Deadpool head, he's way taller than Matt Murdock. And I guess that would make sense, because I kind of get the feeling that, that Matt Murdock is a shorter character. And I hope that this is a good size this is a good angle for this but you can see he's a lot taller there and so to give you the Deadpool comparison now of the two avocado head versus let's get your I like the magnets on here that's really good get that off your back there come here you um <laughs> the magnets they're fighting each other they don't want to uh stand next to each other um let's see yeah, the avocado head is shorter than the Deadpool head. And it's hard to get these two together because the magnets in the back, they're, they're posing each other. But definitely shorter uh, with the avocado head. And I bought this from a third party. Came with two of them. Um, one clean avocado head, another one is 
is uh, bloodied up. And I like the avocado head. I don't know if, if anybody got a hold of that. If any of y'all got that, I'll give you a zoom in on it so you can see what he looks like. It's really nice. Really good job. Definitely, in my opinion, looks like he did in the movie. So, and I, don't, and I don't know what else to call it. You know, the guys are sitting there, you know, telling him everything he looks like. And I think avocado is probably the closest expression that I can think of for that. And I think they did a good job of doing that. You can see a seam all the way around it here, but barely. Only because I'm looking for it is the seam sticking out to me. Other than that, the seam never, never bothered me before. So, there's uh, the Deadpool comparison of that. Let's see where are we at in time. Oh, we got plenty of time. Uh, uh, I have the side pool ver the sideshow version of Deadpool also. Uh, that Dino from Old Man Logan. Yeah, don't go by Deadpool. Yeah, you know, he's, he's chunkier, I think. Uh, he was, mm, I don't know even that is. Still waiting for Mark IV and Mark IV Neon in UK. Oh, man, sorry about that uh, with the gantry. Yeah, what's up, Dosgoth? How you doing, man? Nice. Scissors, I don't even know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> you're out of your gourd. Uh, four different choices of two actors. This version is better. Scissors, you're out of your mind, man. I don't know what you're talking about. So, let me see. Um, get these. Katana's back where they belong, or I will put the wrong one on the wrong one. And I really want to open up this, uh, I really want to open up this Lady Death. Unless you guys have something else in mind. I believe I should have time to do that. And the Sideshow Deadpool, I'll show you that since I got this here. I'll go ahead and pull him over here. Because... Deadpool is in every Marvel universe. He's in every one of them. We know that. So enjoy Deadpool being in every Marvel universe. And 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 in my opinion, get the Sideshow Deadpool. Gosh, he was on like a Black Friday special through Sideshow. Um, but uh, I don't know if that's still going on. I don't think you'll be disappointed with the Sideshow Deadpool. He is not the MCU Deadpool under any circumstances. And he's not as quality as the Hot Toys Deadpools are. But he is Deadpool. And I don't know why I just put my guys up. I need to probably do a size comparison here. I believe he's a little taller than these Deadpools. And comes with this, comes with the head pool, comes with little, you know, quips that you can put on there. And he's, um, again, it's a sideshow figure. So it's not, in my opinion, the quality's not there that you get with uh, Hot Toys. And again, Hot Toys quality is starting to slip. But it's a totally different figure. I mean, it's totally different. Now, he's actually shorter than the Hot Toys Deadpool because he's about the same height. No, he's shorter than Avocado Head here. Um, but he's just, uh, he's difficult and fragile. All of the pouches on him, they just hang on there with little clasps. However... Taking into consideration that this one literally just fell clean off, and I'm going to have to do some serious surgery on that because I can't even sew that together. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I'm just going to leave it off or super glue it on. I'll have to have to consider that. All of these are just hung on. You can hang them anywhere, but because of that, you get like this sloppiness to them. They don't really necessarily stay where you put them. They always just kind of slop around. And this suit is totally like a, a neoprene cloth that you can you can do. But a hey, Deadpool, he comes with two different heads too. Um, Deadpool, like I said, he's in every universe. 
So that's why I love getting him, and I'm and I'm trying to build like a whole Deadpool collection. So he's he's uh when Sideshow made him, and that's the way Sideshow advertises a lot of their figures is that he's a generalization or representation of multiple genres of Deadpool. So he doesn't necessarily represent a specific Deadpool, but Deadpool in general is what he's supposed to um, represent. And I can dig that. I enjoy that. I get that. And uh, so that's why I recommend him. Get him for that. If you're a Deadpool fan, and I'm assuming most of you guys are, I can't imagine um, somebody being into comic characters and not getting Deadpool. And I, I mean just getting them as in understanding his humor or where he's from or who he is. You know what I mean? Because Deadpool, he breaks all the walls. So let's push this guy over here. Come on, Matt. Work with me, buddy. Work with me. Where are we in time? Uh, I like the glass canisters. Did you get the Boba Fett versus Deadpool rap? No, I haven't seen that. Check it out. Uh, it's amazing. He wiped out the Marvel Universe, I think. Uh, scissors. Yeah, Nazgoth, I don't know what the hell he's doing, man. He's out of his gourd. Thanks for Deadpool comparison. You bet, Lorenzo. Um, so, dude, what do you think? Should we do Lady Death? Or do you want to see um, R2-D2 Deluxe? Um, Star-Lord, Chitauri, The Mask. I'm thinking Lady Death. It's been my grail. I kind of was really wanting to get over that. You guys um, tell me otherwise. I'm going to start cracking this open. And if you don't want me to do a Lady Death, because I did Lady Death well, two weeks ago on the version 2, which I love, so I was really happy to chase this down. Love the Fison figures. An hour. Uh, an hour seems to be the time. Um, if I go past an hour, YouTube acts all freaky. and Heck, I think they even shut me off after an hour, to tell you the truth. Love this box. R2, you got it. I will do the R2. So this is the deluxe version, not the exclusive version, not the Hot Toys version. And the difference between the deluxe and exclusive version is three more additional arms. So the new Hot Toys version that I ordered, <clears throat> the first Hot Toys version does nothing, essentially. He beeps and the head rotates. I mean, he does just basic minimal stuff. Doesn't come with any accessories to speak of. The Hot Toys version doesn't. It's a cool figure, but this deluxe version is on target and I decided to get another one with the Hot Toys one coming out I I, uh, I love these Astromechs so here's the box it's a shoebox style box and then when you take the front off you have all this really good looking and then we'll take that front cover off. Lee's got R2 choices. Spiro, Sideshow, Force Awakens, R2, Hot Toys, and your version. Nah, I ain't kidding you, man. There's also like this, um, I think, I don't remember how to say it. Shocking version, 1 6 scale. Here's my Astro. And uh, I've seen the new C-3PO that Hot Toys will be releasing soon, which I think is from the animated series. I don't remember. It tells a whole big story about his arm and, and leg. And I mean, the whole nine yards, this new C-3PO that Sideshow keep, uh, Hot Toys keeps showing should be coming out soon. 
Uh, you notice how the two um, BB-8s, the new one is orange, literally orange, and the first one is brown. Love that thumbs up of that. And that's the Hot Toys R2 there. And that's the Deluxe with three of his arms in him. And then I put the other arms and the other guys there. That's the, uh, the R2 unpainted. And then, of course, R5-D4. And then uh, CB-D3. Oh, gosh, I can't keep them up with any more. R2, R2, gosh, help me out, guys. And the BB-9 and the mouse droid. So I love these guys. And, uh, man, I wish, I wish I had the money in the space to buy them all. I would. So both of these, like I said, the Deluxe and the Exclusive come with all of this stuff. I mean, it's, it, this is a lot of stuff in the first place. The Deluxe came with three extra arms. Or, I mean, the Exclusive came with three extra arms. That's it. That was the only difference between the uh, the Deluxe and the Deluxe Exclusive version. This one is still available new from uh, sales from stores. So you can get, still get this guy. And if you're an R2 fan, snatch him up. He's not a bad price. He's he's kind of dirty because he's supposed to be Jabba, Jabba's hut. So I guess you would call this then, with that in mind, the Return of the Jedi version. I'm imagining would be the proper saying thing to say. You know what? Uh, looking at this, this guy is dirtier than my exclusive version is. He is, uh, his legs are dirtier. So, let me get my ex deluxe exclusive over here. No, the sideshows do not beep. Both of the hot toys beep. The first one does, and the new one will. So, looking at these two guys, all right? Supposedly they're the same figure, the, both the R2 Deluxe, but I'm telling you right now, and I don't know if you can see this or not, angle this down here, this new one that I just bought, which is the same figure, he's dirtier, okay, um, and I'm assuming this is going from because uh, they still hand make these to some degree, you know what I mean? There's still some hand painting going on. And I'm assuming in the time frame that they made this, they really threw that paint on there from here. So that really goes into the Return of the Jedi style with the dirt on it from tattooing. And here, I mean, you would call this possibly, I wouldn't call it as clean as like, you know, the, um, well, hell, even the first movie, uh, A New Hope, which they later called it, he was on Tatooine. But I wouldn't call him as clean as he would be on the spaceship, which the Hot Toys version is. Let's get this over here, turning into a comparison video. So the Hot Toys one, he's clean, almost uh, like spaceship clean, all right? And in my deluxe exclusive, he's a little dirty. So, kind of like, I don't know, not necessarily on the spaceship clean, but this new one I just ordered and just bought, brand new, he's really dirty. Supposedly the same figures. So, uh, it's very interesting. I, I, uh, it's very interesting like that. Yes, the Leia hologram is included with the uh, Sideshow version, and... In the new Hot Toys version, they've done a different take on that. The um, None of these doors open or nothing on this Hot Toys version. This original release Hot Toys version, he doesn't do anything. The dome is shinier, okay? Which, again, in my opinion, makes them all the more so uh, spaceship-y style. So we have a shinier dome because he's cleaner. You know what I mean? The lights... I think the lights on this guy, and I don't believe I have the lights on. I think it took the batteries out of these guys. The um, I like the way they did the lights on this sideshow version. 
Come on. Can't get them out of here in the world. I don't want to break them. There we go. I don't think I've got any batteries in here, but we'll check. And they light up the same. Oh, well, of course I wouldn't. This is the one I just took out of the box. Anyhow, they, they light up the same by just pressing on the the uh, the little side there to uh, actuate them. Anyhow, that's where the... Uh, oh, look. There are batteries in there. Haha. Uh -huh. That'll make it easy. So you just press the side here to turn them on. Well, maybe the batteries have gone dead that they sent me. Off, on. No, I just turned them off. Come on now. There we go. So, um, there we go. Here's the lights. All right. So you have like a one press, which does all of that. And then a double press turns on this projector here, which I don't remember if you can position it or not. Yeah, it's mo it's movable. So you can move it about. And these lights are pretty bright. So you can reposition that. And I thought this back one came on too. Uh, where's the sensor that you press? I think it's right here. Yeah, that's it. One press. And then two presses turns on the second light. Come on. Where are you? There we go. There's a second light. These guys don't light up. And then you have the little drawers here. So the top and one of these opens up. For his little radar dome. Come on out of there. And then you also have, for his lightsaber, this slides out of the way. So you can get his little lightsaber in there. And you got the eye in here, too. There's his little eye. So all these things will pop up. And I have them all up on this guy, which I just put away. There you can see. And this opens up for his little um, arm for the drink trays on Jabba's barge, which I'm probably going to show this guy in that manner. He's probably going to be Jabba's slave with the little drink station. So you get all these little accessories with this guy. Which I literally just dropped on the floor. All his little arms and stuff. Sheesh. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. So I'll show you the three arms specifically you get with this one. You get like his little uh, computer interface arm. I think this is like the shocker. When I thought it might have been articulated and it's not. The shocker or probe style. And then you get a little grasping arm. So that's the three arms you get. And then for the deluxe, which you can't get any more new, you get three additional arms, which I don't know what the other ones are. Here's one of them. The other ones are on one of those guys over there. You get uh, um, Luke's lightsaber as you can see and you get this little barge thing so he can serve his drinks so this is the piece that comes through the top of his head let me set this aside without it popping all over and like I said I'm probably gonna do this with him so that just sets right in there as such so he can serve drinks Let's move you guys back here And he has this uh, 
thing here that goes over his shoulders. Which you would then set. This. So we'll have to put him in two-legged pose. Do this. And as such. And he can then serve drinks. And it comes with little drink cups. You get the, as you were saying earlier, the Leia hologram, which is really cool. She just sets. Now, what they've done, let me get everything else out of here, is a restraining bolt that I'm missing on the floor here up to find. It comes with two restraining bolts. And uh, I just dropped one of them. And that's good because they're a magnet. And a lot of the figures don't come with the restraining bolt. So it's nice to be able to use this additional one that comes with this guy. Um, seven cups. And these little drink cups have little knobbies on the bottom of them. So they can set in his little thing here and there's liquid in them one two three four five six seven seven spaces but what you have here is this little um, cover that they've put so you can either display that with lay it in it or without lay it in it and I've got it here kind of hit, hidden in the back with this lightsaber which came with, I think, um, BB-8 and Ray. I think that's Darth Vader's lightsaber. I don't remember. You guys are going to have to help me out. I'm sorry for being so ignorant to this. But there's two lightsabers. This is the one that comes with R2. And I think this is the Vader's from the BB-8 and Ray set. Don't remember. But anyhow, uh, the point I was getting at was you can remove the centerpiece and stick Leia in there, and then she lights up. And the way you light it up is pressing down the little dispenser there. And there she's saying, help me, Obi-Wan. You are my only hope. And I think you can spin her to however you want to be able to pose her with R2. As, uh, as she's saying there. So you can either display the table without her, or you can display the table with her. And so that's the R2 um, Deluxe, like I said, which is available new right now. And he's a good buy. I uh, say get him. If you're, on the, uh, if you're on the fence, you're not gonna go wrong. He's cheaper, less expensive than the Hot Toys version. Um, but, he comes with so much stuff for the price. And the new Hot Toys version comes with a lot more stuff, but you still don't get the barge accessory for him serving drinks. Let's see how articulated this is. Well, it's got some pretty good articulations here. So you can go up like so. Got a bend there, and I just took that apart. So don't want to bend that too far down. See if we can get that going back in there again like it's supposed to. But, uh, yeah. You can get it right over the drink cup. And when I tilted them, all those little drink cups fell out that I just put on there. So let's put a drink cup over here. He doesn't like standing up with only two legs. He doesn't like it one bit. But should be able to get this with some finagling. You can. I'm having difficulty here. I'm kind of pressed for time. Um, but there you go. Uh, you have gold braided cables down here. And the Hot Toys one. I'm going to pull this leg down. He just does not like this. 
the uh, the Hot Toys one, you get um, kind of a dark brown braided cables for his legs there. A little more definition here in the grills. A little more right there too. These guys open up on the Sideshow one. They do not open up on the Hot Toys one. The new Hot Toys one should be. This feels smoother than this one. So, so we're running out of time here. No, the heads are not interchangeable between these two. I tried that, they're actually different sizes. Now the heads are interchangeable between the R5D4 with some modifications. So you can make different colored R2s. If you wanna have an R2, a red R2, you can put that onto an R5D4 of the sideshows, but no, the Hot Toy and the Sideshow heads are not interchangeable. I checked that, I definitely did. Uh, the Buzzsaw, yes, comes with the Deluxe, uh, and uh, here, I'll show them, I got them right here. So on my SAR2 Cube 2, whatever it is, you get, okay, well, I already showed you that one. That's on that guy. Uh, you get the Buzzsaw, which I have here in my R5D4, if I can get him over here. Ah, careful guy. There's the buzzsaw. You get the buzzsaw, and on my unpainted, I have the other, kind of like a uh, computer interface or whatever. I don't know what all these little things do, to tell you the truth. I'm a bad, bad Star Wars fan. What's wrong with me? But those are the, the three. So you get those two and this kind of, um, I don't know what it is. That guy there, that's the ones you get in the exclusive version. Other than that, the deluxe and exclusive are the same. Except, as I just pointed out, for some reason, he's dirtier on my new deluxe version. Guys, thank you very much for coming in with me. I'm, I'm getting back into the swing of things. It's taking me a long time to get this last uh, um, uh, Spider-Man video going that I've been working on. It takes a long time to edit these videos. So hopefully this is still recording. Like I said, it gets to the point where YouTube just literally shuts me down and says, yeah, you've been on long enough. Get out of here. And so, and also it gets to the point where you guys don't want to hang out with me anymore and you start leaving. So thanks for sticking with me. I've enjoyed every one of you. I like doing these Saturday morning shows. Uh, I do it early in the morning for me at 7 o'clock because I'm trying to get all of you guys, and I hope it's a good time for you guys. Like, I've got UK viewers and, and people on um, all the way on the other side of the continent, and I appreciate and love every one of you, and thank you very much. And I will see you all next Saturday, and hopefully my Spider-Man video will be up. It's on the homecoming. Uh, it will be up either tonight or tomorrow, and then I'll be doing a comparison and an unboxing with the Spider-Man homemade suit. So I'll see you guys. Thank you very much. Happy collecting. See you in the next video. Peace out.